Mr. Speaker, I am very happy today to stand in this August Chamber to respond or to speak on the estimates <clears throat> of revenue and expenditure for 2024-2025. But Mr. Speaker, before I continue, I always want to take the opportunity to thank the people of Denry, Lakai, and Lime for placing the confidence in me to serve them at that level, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, without them, I would not be standing here today. Mr. Speaker, I want to endorse the estimates of revenue and expenditure for 2024 and to just take a short statement by our Prime Minister when he was presenting and to indicate that 2023 was a well-managed year for this government and it is going to set the platform for 2024-2025. Mr. Speaker, he also state, stated that there will be something for every St. Lucian in this budget, Mr. Speaker. Unlike the previous, where it was not the case. Mr. Speaker, I want to delve directly or straight into my ministry <clears throat> and to state that under the recurrent expenditure for 2024-25, we received a total of $33,821,200. On the capital um, expenditure, an allocation of $7,378,200 was received, making it a total of $41,199,200. $400 for the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development. Funds were allocated to 15 capital projects, namely, Pretty Alassini Program, receiving a total of $793,600. And we know the importance of the Pretty Alassi program, Mr. Speaker, especially with regards to the agricultural sector and the challenges that our farmers face in terms of the crops. Building resilience to, for adaptation to climate change and climate variability, we received an amount of $2,072,000. Mr. Speaker. And that project is a building resilience project that looks at the entire agricultural sector. And what is important for this project, Mr. Speaker, is that the, it is going to cover a number of regions, namely regions one and two, six and seven. In terms of the banana management unit, <coughs> sorry, we received an amount of $1,053,100, Mr. Speaker. And the banana unit, as we know, replaced the BPIU, Banana Productivity um, Improvement Project. And we are now focusing on the control of the black cicatoka and surveillance of pests and disease in the agricultural sector. This unit is very critical, Mr. Speaker, as you know, the significance of the banana industry. Enhancing energy efficiency for, efficiency for agro-processing with solar volt, photovoltaic power, we received an allocation of $200,000. Expansion of our food crop production. You would, under, you would know that the Taiwanese government made a provision in the second phase of the seven crops program, $9.9 million for a period of five years. We are in the second year of the second phase of the program, Mr. Speaker, and an allocation of 
million dollars and was made available for 2024-25. Mr. Speaker, in addition to the seven crops in the first phase that included cabbage, tomato, lettuce, watermelon, cantaloupe, we have added corn, dragon fruit, eggplant, and carrots to the list. We are hoping that, that this allocation will help to assist St. Lucia in meeting its target of 25% reduction in food imports by 2025. Under the cocoa sector enhancement, enhancement project, Mr. Speaker, this is a project that started last year. It's in the second year, it's a free year project, Mr. Speaker. An amount of $290,300 is made available in this financial year to assist with the expansion or the rehabilitation of 123 acres and to rehabilitate approximately 294 acres of cocoa, Mr. Speaker. You know, we have a very good market available in the UK, and we are hoping that we will be able to continue to take advantage of this market for our farmers. Mr. Speaker, we have a new capital called Tree, ex crop, tree crop Expansion. And Mr. Speaker, this project came about because if you go around the country, you would see quite a lot of abandoned fertile lands, especially in the valleys of Mabuya and Roseau, etc., Mr. Speaker. And we thought it was necessary to give some kind of attention to convert these idle lands into productive use. So we are looking at, Mr. Speaker, enhancing livelihood security and a reduction of vulnerability to climate change for a focus of selected tree crops. So we are looking at targeting approximately 100 acres of those abandoned lands in the first year where we are going to look in terms of conducting stakeholder um, engagements, baseline surveys, <coughs> and securing those vacant fallow, fallow lands to be able to convert them into, into, into productive lands. So we are going to put in tree crops and other um, short-term crops to be able to ensure that we can meet or help reduce our food import bill and to meet our target of 25% by 2025. So l'année projet neuf qui trouvé approuvé à budget là l'année ça là un projet ça là regardé terre qui vide l'année chaille terre là regardé là drive au centre ici vous voyez l'année chaille terre qui trouvé abandonné il pas rien qui planter en l'air il pas ni figue il pas ni rien gouvernement centre ici fou ministry agricole ca garde ces terres ça là parce que nous quoi ces terres ça là important pour planter manger et en l'année ça là noyen 400 1000 dollars qui trouvé à privé un budget là pour l'année prochaine 24 25 pour nous garder ces tests là et garder qui ça nous a fait puis nous ca garder en commencement pour yon sans acte pour nous planter bagaille con mago ça va ca avec différents fruitage à même les nous ca ça metté différents qualité en légumes pour garder qui manière nous ça metté ces tests là Adam en manière qui productive côté nous kay ça produit plus manger et pour reduce à sous ces quantités de manger à nous ca mener en simplicité Mr Speaker under the livestock development sector the relocation of Bosejo agricultural station an amount of 900,000 dollars have been allocated for the Volet agricultural station to be able to improve breed, the breeding program of livestock and to be able to construct sheep and goat quarantine pens and swine breeding pens, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we remember this agricultural station initially was in the southern part of the island, but we have since moved the entire facility to Volet and we are hoping that this $900,000 will help us complete 
the infrastructure, infrastructural works that are needed to get this facility operational, Mr. Speaker. While I'm on this, Mr. Speaker, under the CERC World Bank Food and Nutrition and Security Program, Mr. Speaker, we are hoping by early May to receive almost 150 new bloodlines of sheep, goat, and swine, Mr. Speaker, to begin full operation of the facility. This movle di that um pou se moun nan ki pitèt pa te sav sa ka fèt la y vini pou bo sejou kote nou teni bagay zan nou an bo sejou nou ja touve transfer poje sa la an an plase wa kwe volet me kou ep nou ka kwe dat tou suite an me nou ka yini an set zan nou ka sorti l'Amerik sa se preske yon 150 zan nou nou ka yini pou koumanse travay ek pou koumanse sa nou kwe an artificial animation program ek pou gade ki mwen de nou ka yi sa podwi pli zan nou ek pou reduce asou sa nou ka meni an twe Mr. Speaker on the repairs to fisheries facilities Mr. Speaker last year 23-2024 received an allocation of 1.1 million EC dollars Mr. Speaker and some of that went to the Lucian Blue Ocean Facility, Mr. Speaker, we spent some of, the, of an amount of $400,000 in my constituency on the fishing port. An amount of $129,000 was spent in Miku to upgrade the washroom facility there, Mr. Speaker. And a, another amount was spent to upgrade the Savants Bay jetty. This year, Mr. Speaker, the 850,000 is expected to provide some repairs to the administrative building in Grosile, Savans Bay, Denry, Viewfort Facility, Castries Facility, Ancillary, <coughs> and Soufre. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing um, the member for Ancillary Canary is nodding his head. <laughs> yeah, now the one I'm missing, Mr. Speaker, as um, indicated by the member for Shozel, an amount of $5,550,000 was allocated for repairs to the Shozel fishing port, Mr. Speaker. The Shozel port, as you know, we've been experience, experiencing serious problems with sediment buildup at the entrance of the port, and it is causing serious problems for our fishers. In this financial year, we're going to see the construction of a second groin and submerge breakwater. We are going to see a continuation of dredging works, installation of navigational aids, and assessment and designs of countermeasures, Mr. Speaker. I had the opportunity to visit the site few weeks ago, Mr. Speaker, and I can see some good progress is being made to address the problem. Mr. Speaker, the rehabilitation of the Castries Fisheries Complex is very critical, Mr. Speaker, as it is a very important facility for marketing of our fish. And um, an amount of $200,000 was allocated in this new financial year, and the amount provided is, um, is to help in terms of the addressing the problems with the leaking roof, Mr. Speaker, and to be able to remove the asbestos roof that has been there for many years. Mr. Speaker, we are hoping that this facility will be reopened very soon and our fishers will begin to market the fish and not be seen on the streets and byways night and day, raining us and trying to hustle to sell the fish. Mr. Speaker, for those persons who regularly um, drive through the Union area, you would have seen a building very nicely painted. It is called the Wildlife Conservation and Education Center, Mr. Speaker. This project started in 2018, and it was funded by the, by the, by a, 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 an agency in Germany, Mr. Speaker. This is where we have our parrots. But in the last three years, Mr. Speaker, we've been encountering serious problems in terms of availability of funding to complete the project. Mr. Speaker, the project has tremendous potential because 
it can generate very, very serious revenue for the government by means of encouraging our visitors and our local people to see what is happening in terms of our, our, our national bird, in terms of various education and conservation measures that happens or takes place in our forest reserve. Mr. Speaker, an amount of $272,000 has been made available to complete repairs on the exist existing administrative building and interpretation building and the purchase of equipment for our kitchen and hospital, Mr. Speaker. Even our wildlife, Mr. Speaker, has, will have a hospital to be able to take care of diseases and other problems during that period. Mr. Speaker, repairs to our log cabins, Mr. Speaker. We have five log cabins in the Forest Reserve, and you would understand that I worked there for 44 years, and those log cabins serve as a shelter, especially when you have to conduct research in the Forest Reserve when we are doing surveys of our national bird and there are times because of the distance you have to walk into the forest mr speaker those um structures or shelters would be used for us to overnight mr speaker mr speaker those sh structures have deteriorated very rapidly mr speaker and does not provide the level of comfort for forest officers to be able to overnight and occupy. As a result, in an effort to upgrade those log cabins, an amount of $350,000 have been made available to upgrade those facilities. Mr. Speaker, in going through the estimates, Mr. Speaker, I notice a number of ministries with specific projects that would benefit my constituency, Mr. Speaker. And the first one, Mr. Speaker, is the Ministry of Commerce. I see an amount on the solarization of Fisher Cooperatives, Mr. Speaker, of $275,000, Mr. Speaker. And I'm hoping that my dairy facility, Mr. Speaker, will benefit from this. Although I know initially with discussions for, with the member for Sufre, dairy was one of the first on the list, but we didn't meet our obligations in terms of getting our proposal on time and as a result we missed it but Mr. Speaker I'm asking the member for Soufre, Francis Jacques, to please give special consideration to Denry to, to, to benefit from this solarization Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker under the Ministry of Infrastructure, Rivers and Water Cost Maintenance Mr. Speaker, three million dollars Mr. Speaker and, hoping, and I'm hoping that the Minister the, the member for Castries North will continue to provide support in terms of desilting our rivers and natural water courses on time, considering <clears throat> that the Denry village is very vulnerable, especially when it comes to flooding. I see on the Ministry of Infrastructure, Mr. Mr. Speaker, road improvement and maintenance project, 10 million EC dollars, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm hoping that the bypass road connecting the Denry, Hospi Denry Hospital through Newfield, Mr. Speaker, Exasse Chimia, he can come and say, opposite plans restaurant, Mr. Speaker, and Chimia Sala continue, gouvernement concretely, mais là, il va passer, Mr. Wapi, baby Rasla, il va pas monter et be connecter pour aller à l'hôpital là. Et là, nous ni bagay kon flooding an vil la ki ka pouve difisil pou menen moun l'hôpital so mwen ka kwè lanè sa la nou ka ijwenn sipò pou nou debouche chimè sa la ek pou nou ni moun ka sorti lè sorti green mountain rocky lane mabuya nipot kote yo ka isa pase la ek rive la an, la pli vit we are hoping to get some attention mr speaker for our bois joli road chimè bois joli a qui était un jeu dernière fois, mais Chimé Sala a trouvé qu'il est mauvais. Et puis ça, c'est Chimé, si nous, pièce flooding à la caille, en stretch la caille, mais pièce côté, ça, c'est celle Chimé nous a servi pour nous aller qu'à suivre. Mr. Speaker, I'm hoping that some level of attention will be provided to assist with the rehabilitation of those roads, including 
the Church Street Road, Mr. Speaker, the Newfield Road, Mr. Speaker, Green Mountain Road, Mr. Speaker, and other roads in Lakai and Lime. On the Youth and Sports, Mr. Speaker, I see an amount of $1.85 million for lighting, well replacement, Mr. Speaker. In Denry, on the Denry Plain football field and cricket field, Mr. Speaker, we, you've noticed some lights are not working, Mr. Speaker, so I'm hoping that we can get some of those funds to assist us in addressing the issue of the bulbs replacement for the Denry football field. Under the Ministry of Housing, Mr. Speaker, an amount of $2,160,000 is made available for the National Housing Assistance Program, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this program has been a social program, Mr. Speaker, has created a major impact on the whole social infrastructure and housing infrastructure in my constituency, Mr. Speaker. Just this financial year, Mr. Speaker, I provided assistance to 76 persons in terms of support, whether it's in the form of plywood, galvanized, um, floor ply, concrete blocks, steel, cement, Mr. Speaker. I'm hoping that this program will continue, Mr. Speaker, in addition to the number of houses Although they are called small huts, Mr. Speaker, but they have done well to assist the needy and the persons who have situations, face situations with housing assistance, Mr. Speaker. Under the Ministry of Education, Mr. Speaker, I note an amount of $14,195,901, Mr. Speaker. Every year, Mr. Speaker, the principal of the Denry primary school and other schools in my constituency, Mr. Speaker, makes requests for assistance for repairs and rehabilitation of school um, buildings, Mr. Speaker. And I'm certainly sure mem uh, the member for Denry North, as good as he has always been to Denry South, will provide some assistance to help us alleviate this problem, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, in terms of the Ministry of Tourism, Mr. Speaker, 3.3 million three hundred and forty-five thousand dollars, Mr. Speaker, was allocated in this financial year, and we are hoping that we will see a revamping of the Denry Fish Fiesta, Mr. Speaker. As you know, the Denry Fish Fiesta was set up to assist persons after the closure of the Bell Fashion, Mr. Speaker. And we have what we call this Saturday Fish Fiesta, what we call in normal terms, Ale Sabla Le Samedi. So I'm very happy, Mr. Speaker, we will be getting funding to begin repairs and to upgrade the facility, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this activity has great spin-off effect for the community, and I'm hoping that we can get the assistance going. Moi, je dis, pour tout jeune de nuit, la caille met, that moi, je peux mettre un candidat fait un qui tous les samedis et community tourism project là au programme là nous avons nous presque 1.7 million dollars pour nous a great facility. Nous avons mis ce cas-là plus neuf. Nous avons mis ce côté pour que les aller servir les ouvriers, aller en toilette. Nous avons mis plus de light. Et nous avons fait ça en plus de place. Si les gens viennent, nous avons une différence. Et pour tout le monde en ville, nous avons continué à bénéficier de l'activité. Mr. Speaker, in terms of upgrade to fisheries facilities, Mr. Speaker, for the last 15 years, Mr. Speaker, before I became the member for Denry South, Mr. Speaker, very little was done to attend to the problems of the Denry Fishing Port, Mr. Speaker. And under the fisheries uh, um, facilities upgrade, Mr. Speaker, an amount of 400,000, as I mentioned earlier, was allocated, and we were able to repair the fishing stalls, Mr. Speaker. We improved drainage because there was a, a problem with drainage and the water not flowing into the sea, Mr. Speaker. We, we were able to address that. We painted the entire facility, Mr. Speaker. We are actually now re repairing the moorings where the boats have been packed, Mr. Speaker. And we are in the process of refurbishing the locker rooms, Mr. Speaker. 
as we speak, Mr. Speaker, we are now painting the two locker room buildings and in the next new financial year, we are going to replace all the damaged doors to ensure that we provide a facility that is st of standard so that when people get to the f facility, Mr. Speaker, they will see that level of <clears throat> high standard that's supposed to be existing on the facility. Mr. Speaker, in the new financial year, Mr. Speaker, $850,000 have been allocated, Mr. Speaker, as I mentioned earlier. I'm hoping that we can fence the entire perimeter of the fishing port in Denry, providing a, a, a gate that would be able to allow us to control activities on the port. So, nous can say that when we finish to travail, nous can fait actuellement tout pêche Denry, tout monde Denry, qui est content to travail là, gouvernement ça l'a fait. To travail là, un ministre a fait. Et to travail là, nous can continue pour faire, pour faire toute facilité pêche primaire. Et pour les monde venir là, yo kai ni en manière pour respecter ça yo kai ouais, because yo kai expression c'est bagarre nous can manger. Et nous voulons well any standards. But Mr. Speaker, we will go further to train all the fish handlers on the facility, Mr. Speaker, who are engaged there, and we are going to give them special training in fish handling, and we are hoping that they will have an ID card that will recognize that they are certified fish handlers, Mr. Speaker. And we are also going to have one person employed to ensure that the place is kept at the standard that it's supposed to be. Mr. Speaker, as I mentioned earlier, the housing assistance program, Mr. St Mr. Speaker, 76 persons have received assistance in one way or the other, Mr. Speaker, and one house was constructed for a lady in Lapwit, which I will not mention her name, Mr. Speaker. This lady was living under poor conditions in terms of housing, Mr. Speaker, and we've been able to help her to make life a lot better for her. Mr. Speaker, in terms of the economic development of the constituency, Mr. Speaker, we have a number of vendors on the fishing port, and those vendors are, you know, using trays and they are in, on, on certain um, sections of the port which does not look or in line with, with, with standards, Mr. Speaker. And so we just constructed three vending booths, Mr. Speaker, that would be allocated to those vendors to be able to ensure that they maintain the level of standard or high standards that are required for vending, Mr. Speaker. In this new financial year, Mr. Speaker, on the, my constituency development program, Mr. Speaker, I'm hoping to construct three more, Mr. Speaker, so we can have more people occupy those booths. <coughs> Under the Ministry of Sports, Mr. Speaker, we've refurbished the Denry Steel Band Shed, Mr. Speaker. That facility has been there for more than 10 years and it has not been utilized in the way it's expected. We have gotten assistance, financial resources from the Ministry of Sports, Mr. Speaker, and we've rehabilitated the steel band shed with the hope that we will get or encourage young persons within the constituency to engage in steel band, Mr. Speaker. As you know, Mr. Speaker, the issue of crime has been a disturbing issue for the constituency and whatever can be done to occupy our young people as much as possible will or should help curb the situation. We've seen the refurbishment of the Lakai Deke Center, improvements in terms of tiling, Mr. Speaker, painting of the building, and we just recently <coughs> upgraded the railings. We in the new financial year, we'll be focusing on securing the property by improving and completing the fencing <coughs> component of the building, Mr. Speaker. We just constructed or commenced the construction of the nursery road in Lakai. And that is a road that has been unattended to for more than 15 years, Mr. Speaker. Under the constituency development program, we have begun the construction of this new road, and we are hoping that completion of this road will be in the new financial year. A new footpath commencing from the tamarind tree, that is by Lean and, and those persons in Lakai, that has been 
a major, major concern because of the condition of the, the road there, Mr. Speaker. We began construction of this new footpath last month and it was just completed. And I must say, the people of Lakai are extremely happy, Mr. Speaker. In terms of projects for 2024, 2025, Mr. Speaker, as the parliamentary rep for Denry, I have been under a lot of pressure for the status of the multi-purpose center building, Mr. Speaker. This building was damaged by in 2021, Mr. Speaker, and since then it has not been, it's not fit for use by the public. This is a uh, uh, building, Mr. Speaker, that was hosting dances and meetings, Mr. Speaker, even weddings, Mr. Speaker. And this situation, this um, building is in a very, very, very bad, bad mess, Mr. Speaker. I am hoping after my discussion with the Minister for Finance that in this new financial year, 24-25, some attention will be given to the building, Mr. Speaker. Mobile dit pour ce tout jeune Henry that when two concerné et puis condition multiple centre Henry et qui ni presque trois ans hurricane um marché no hurricane mais hurricane na damage or cause damage pour um multiple centre et aussi si vous savez c'est la library atelier et depuis tant ça là nous pour que ça fait rien avec nous jeune Henry pas ni access pour côté de café meeting danser avec bagarre comme ça moi ca Fait un promettre that un budget neuf là nous caille fait tout ça qui possible pour ranger multiple center. Mr. Speaker, the playing field, Mr. Speaker, the football field, Mr. Speaker, we are praying every day that we will get the funds to be able to provide the seating facility for the Denry football field. We are hosting a number of events, football activities like Black Art, veterans football competitions, local football competitions, Mr. Speaker, but the seating is not available and the persons who are attending those games, Mr. Speaker, have to be standing throughout, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm hoping that in this new financial year, after my discussion with the Ministry for, Minister for Youth and Sports, we will see some <clears throat> effort or work commencing to be able to put in the seats and other facilities that are needed to ensure that persons attending games are more comfortable at or when they are at that venue. Road improvements, Mr. Speaker, we have, we have seen some deteriorating roads in the constituency. And I speak to areas like Lakai, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Lume, Mr. Speaker, Church Street, road passing next to Lawrence House in Denver, Mr. Speaker. The Boisjoli Road, as I mentioned earlier, the Green Mountain Road, Lakai Main Road going for the, for, the, for the community of Lakai. We are hoping that we will be able to give some attention to those roads and to make life better for our constituents. In this fi new financial year, we are going to put additional lights on the Lakai playing field. We have a few lights already set up at, at the, um, on the playing field, Mr. Speaker, but we are hoping that we can deal with those dark spots by Helen. And I've already engaged a contractor for costing, which I'm hoping we can begin work on very early in, this, in the next financial year. Mr. Speaker, I have, I know, in terms of sport, Denry is part of a team under the professional league, Mr. Speaker. And I am in the process of providing financial resources to assist with uniforms and football where, Mr. Speaker. Because I know Denry being one of the best teams on the island, Mr. Speaker, mm -hmm. I expect and anticipate that we'll be very successful in this new competition and we need to provide them the resources that are needed to make this happen. Mr. Speaker, I want to call on my constituents of Denry South that they, they, they place their trust and confidence in me, and I want to 
assure them that I will do the best I can to make Denry South one of the best constituencies in St. Lucia and a <laughs> constituency that, that may end up being the best in the next few years, Mr. Speaker. But I want to inform them that everything cannot and will not be done in one year. We have to go through a process. We have to do it together, Mr. Speaker. And I call on all my constituents to work with me. Let's work together for the development of the constituency of Denry South. In closing, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Prime Minister for the allocation to the Ministry of Agriculture. It will go well and it will do well for the Ministry, Mr. Speaker, because our farmers and other stakeholders in the sector are going through serious challenges, Mr. Speaker. As we speak, we are faced with the dilemma, Mr. Speaker, of our farmers, especially our banana farmers and plantain farmers, not being able to export fruits to the region because of unavailability of boxes at Winera, Mr. Speaker. But the Ministry has taken a proactive approach and we've re placed an order of 7,500 boxes the DR, or from the DR, Mr. Speaker, which is expected to get into St. Lucia sometime next week. Moi vle kuye asu se fama, moi sav, especially se fama figla, se fama banana, beaucoup pan situation ou ka ale fru actuellement. Sa se en le kote, nou ne an chay fig, pa we pou am, am, am exporte, me nou ne an problem ek Winera, because Winera di, le mou pale ba yo, that yo, presentment, car ce vice ces machines n'ont pas fait ces boîtes là et puis pour ça nous n'ayons situation côté en chaque femme pas ça coupé figure ça c'est un bagage qui a distrué moi tout bonnement as a ministre agricole donc nous avons mis des bagages en place pour garder si nous avons une boîte plus vite que possible pour nous ça wiglo wig we resolve situation situation là on veut les or point de chair on veut les or point de patience moi ça c'est un temps qui n'est pas un bon temps pour ça mais nous quand quoi tout suite qui possible nous kai we resolve situation i want to thank my peers and staff of the ministry for the support throughout mr mr speaker and to look forward to further support from them in in the 2024 25 period mr speaker my team in denry south the council and other persons my chair of my constituency group my constituents mr speaker for the patience and understanding and my cabinet, cabinet colleagues mr speaker for guidance and last, Mr. Speaker, my attache for provision and support throughout my journey in this thing. Mr. Speaker, I support the estimates 2024-2025. 20, Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.